Hey guys, we're back to another episode. My name is Bonnie. Back with more Don't Starve. Did I just drop these saplings? That was an accident. Or, or was it? I didn't really want to pick up any more because... Um, any more saplings. Because the more saplings I get... Actually, I can carry four more. It's just like, I don't want to, um... Have another gap of twigs. If that makes any sense. Um, I don't need to pick up any more... I mean, I don't need to pick up the grass... Um, root, but I can definitely pick up the grass. So just getting like two more of those and we're still looking for the adventure portal. I really want to go in there and just try my hand again. And using different characters, it's gonna work. Did I just pass these seeds? Alright, so uh, almost the end of day 47. We're doing really good for all survival. Um, I mean we don't have some really really good... I, I should probably make more bees, huh? I mean look at that. I've had... How much did I have the honey for? At least a day already and it's hardly... I hear bees. <laughs> That's ironic, but I'm not going to attack these ones. I'm going to attack the ones all the way back near my house. This place, however, is going really crazy. I should probably follow the road. So I'm going to backtrack just a little bit so we can see where the road leads. Hopefully it didn't stop. It did stop. So this road probably stops here, and this one starts here, so going somewhere else. So let's follow it. And we're going to stick the saplings over here in Chesteru. Okay, perfect. Sanity. Could eat that. Let's see. Chester is officially full, and all my food is going to be here. This is going to spoil, so I don't want to... Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's night. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap. I did not pay attention to that. Oh, my God. I almost died. Outright. Straight out. Destroyed myself. Okay, so we... Ha all we need to do is make it. There's no need to actually put anything on it. So, screw the pine cones. We don't need it. I would have crushed this tree seed with my hands. Why don't you just do it? You're so cool. Point mace. That's fine. Yeah, I think we're good. We're just going to keep searching for anything that is of interest. Maybe we could pick up some random blueprints on the ground. Who knows? I. It's been a long time since I've actually found a blueprint in the overworld. I don't... I'm not even sure if they actually spawn those anymore. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? They, they used to do that in one of the old updates, but it's been so long. I just think they got rid of it so what would happen was um, they would make things easier on you if you didn't know an actual um, thing oh my god they got rid of blueprints yeah okay never mind the whole what I, I was talking about it's not even here anymore we make prototypes not blueprints anymore feel stupid okay either way after every night we're gonna pick up till we have 99 again no use picking up anything else we you know but food hell yeah I'll pick up food yeah this counts as food I should probably just take this from Chester so I don't have to keep sticking that crap in him. Okay. So that's it for that. Let's follow the road and see what, see what takes me. Follow the road. I really want to do a Don't Start Multiplayer, but... Have we talked about this on the videos? I don't know, but let me go and explain how it works. Because some people ask me about it. And some people want to do some collaborations about it, but... Um, there's this... A small complication that occurs unless you're actually in a room with the person which is just a hundred times more easier to use um, the multiplayer mod works like so you download it install it and what happens is basically it is a local player type of thing so yeah you can control another character but they are on they are stuck on the same screen and you the other person like let's say you're playing um, with the person who's not even in the room with you and they want to play from their computer at home. You have to use a third party software to um, have something to control the other person's computer so they can play with like a remote or something. I don't know if you guys have tried anything with that. It's, it was mostly used in gaming for let's say fighting games or something where another person would use a would virtually use a USB slide in another person's computer take control of whatever they had so they can control stuff from their computer. It's kind of weird. Very awkward, and um, I'm not sure if it's still like that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to assume it is, because that's really, really hard to do, um, what, what they really want to do, which was, you know, seamlessly put the game and ready to go for people to play. So which one? Okay, which spoils faster? I think the seeds do. I mean, the berries, so I'm going to eat that. I'm going to go back up to um, 200 and not anymore. Alright, that's good enough. 212. Ugh. I think after... Wolfgang dies. I really want to try another character that I haven't played before, but it's going to be, like I said, you know, to thank you guys for watching. If I ever die, which might be soon, I don't know, um, I'm going to probably ask uh, for a suggestion 
for the next character to play for the first person who comments just so people are like excited more no I don't want to play don't play don't starve I should probably I should I really need to leave Steam whenever I like start a video I, I just really forget to and it doesn't bother me that much it might bother you or it might you know it might show you what, you know what I usually do I could probably play don't starve later though I mean uh do to so we're still searching really searching for the freaking adventure portal I want to beat it I mean we already have because I'm not I'm not gonna lie I used the mod um, to unlock all the characters but that's so you know if you guys um, suggested it I can go ahead and just play it right away but I still want to beat it on my own you know just to say I did it and you know I think this is the perfect time to do it they're not updating don't starve anymore which sucks but the reason is they think they're done with it I mean I don't want to like hate but I don't know, the game feels a little lackluster, I mean, what else do you have to look forward to besides fighting a Deerclops or a Krampus or whatever else pops up in your way? It doesn't seem that threatening. Okay, no nothing much else here. Crap, there's like nothing else here. There is a road that goes up, so we'll probably go there too, but first let's follow this road and follow that. But yeah, I mean, I've destroyed him a couple times, and I'm sure I make a big deal whenever he pops around, but you know, you got it, it's fun. Um, okay, well this guy's dead. That's pretty funny. So let's use my picky picky, not picky picky mod. Where is my pickaxe? Um, it's called the Dem Bowden mods, which uh, you use it to actually effectively break every single one of these, and they usually drop the same thing, which is rot. Um, ooh, blue gem, and they always drop this stuff, which I'm not gonna carry with me. Actually, I might carry the wet goop just so if Chester has room, only if he has room, he does. So if we need room, we'll take it out. But I'm gonna hold on to it just you know for another rot. Why not? Let's follow the road and see where it takes me. I think we're pretty much... Uh, should we get more berry bushes? Might as well. Might as well, right? I mean, at the same time, we're going to get berries to uh, plant later. And we do have a lot of um, spoilage of rot ready to go soon. This is going to 12, and then I have about 17 of the... Um, what's it called? I have 17 of the light bulbs ready. And these, and these two. I'm not going to let the seeds and or the carrots spoil because I really want to hold on to those. It's going to be useful because I did pick up like 17 poop and on our way back, if there's, if there's no easy way back. Oh my god, there's a portal thing here. Should we go in it? Yeah, I think we will. Let's see where it takes me. Here it goes. Hopefully somewhere I haven't explored before. Alright, we are up here. Okay, that's the second place I wanted to go and okay, I guess we're going up. So there are reeds here, um, I don't really have that much room left for reeds, but there is a couple of rod on the ground because um, all the spiders die. It's getting dark again. This is like one of the places where I really don't want to be where it's dark. Just because, you know, the ground is just, the shade is just so unnerving. You can hardly see anything on the ground, especially when you have the lights on in your room or something like that. So the road ended, and I'm just going to guess... Like, I'm gonna hit like a wall. We won't be able to go anywhere else. Oh, cool! Beefalo, beefalo hat! Houndstooth, definitely pick up the houndstooth because Chester actually carries houndstooths. Oh my god, these guys. Alright, so... Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna take anything but the beefalo hat because that's what the beefalo wool is for. There's not much room left, so that's pretty cool we found that. It's just like, I have to get rid of something here so I make room for it, so we'll drop that. So, beefalo hat. During the day, it heals your sanity. Um, is that the right word? Because healing it? Because, okay, you're standing. Oh my god. <laughs> um, freaking mer people. Killing them drops fish. Uh, I don't have any more room for food. So, we're talking about, yeah, the beefalo hat heals sanity during day only and uh, gives you a little bit of warmth, so that helps out. And we got some fights going on. Nice, nice. It's almost nighttime. I really don't want to be in a position where I have to um, kite around, maybe. A bunch of crap. Where else are we going to go? This way. Yeah, go up this way. Explore a little bit of that. We'll pick up a lot of the reeds along the way, too. There, were there some reeds here? No. Hmm. No reeds here. There's one reed here, but I think we might stop right here for the... No. Do I want to stop there? Too much spiders. I don't think we could reach it there in time, though. We'll see. No, no. Okay, we're fast. We're fast. We got the walk cane and the road. We should be able to get to the area I want. Okay, they're too busy fighting. Good, good, good. Oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're basically going to be there. So as soon as we hit that fork in the crossroads... Oh my god. We're going to make the fire and chop down some trees. 
So here it is. Perfect area. Actually right here where the bigger trees are. Let's make a little little fire here. Get uh you know, get everything ready to go. And let's see. I really want to carry this reed so I can I don't know what else you can make with it. A pan flute, because I still have the other thing. But I don't know. Okay, guess we're gonna drop the, the wet goop for now. And we'll put it inside Chester. That sounded really bad. Okay. So of course you don't want to waste time, especially during night, um, just waiting around doing nothing. So we are gonna chop down some trees, and right before we leave in the morning, we will cook. Oh god. Okay, put that. Oh, I might as well put that on there. Uh, we will. Oh god, I picked up another one. We're gonna cook the berries. Um, 9.4. Uh, right now it's a uh, 9.4, and once you cook it, it's 12. Point something else. I forgot. I don't know the exact thing. I just know like the base number 12, not the decimal number. That's really, that's really what matters. Okay, so we're gonna just cook it right now. It's about the morning. So we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna eat all of these. So this um, effectively opens up yet another inventory slot. And I'm assuming probably at the end of the next day, because it's a long one, um, the spoiled monster meat will turn to run and stack up with this too. The red caps and, you know, other stuff might take a while. So it's 12.5. Gotta remember that. 12.5. So let's see. Yeah, I guess I can eat all of it before I go into crazy mode. Yep, perfect. Let's go. So let's see. Following the road, we are going to come across some ropes and a trap, which um, I can't pick up. I would like to pick up the rope because it's about three. Uh, one rope is actually three grass, but we're going to kill this guy. See what... Oh my god, he dropped the red gem. Very useful. Red gems are so useful. Okay. I need to drop something. Actually, no, no, no. I, I, okay, yeah. I wasted the, the berry one, so we're good. Is this the adventure door? We have found a totally normal tree. And, um, yeah, let me look at the minimap. Just a normal tree. So, that's the first time I found two in a playthrough. But, actually, this is the first playthrough in a long time where I've, uh, been running around a lot. Crap. Okay, we'll swap this for Chester. Take out the blue reed. I mean, take out the reed put it here. Alright, so we're going to collect a lot of reeds, too. Why am I not walking with my walking cane? That is the only reason I should... You know, that's the only use of it, besides a really, really... Um, I guess if you run out of tools in a fight, you can attack with this. Uh, you can't really attack with your bare hands unless you... It's weird. Um, I don't know if you can do this with the command here, but I've learned that using the controller, um, with the control support which they added recently, you can attack with your fist. You can just smack stuff. Let's see, is this 100%? It's 50%. Don't want you. But I will get the rod here as well. And boards are really nice. Boards affect, uh, like, really, really good with uh, making fire. So we got another blue gem. Cool, pretty awesome. Oh god. Um, does Chester have room in his place? He does. Okay, so we're gonna use the boards for, um, you know, the next night or two. If we don't need any more room. Uh, I don't I, I don't really want to drop the bone because, my god. You give it to the pig king, it's like five to eight or something, I believe. Um, golden nugget, so don't want to do that. Pick up a lot of reeds too, so you know, we might be able to make another bird trap, but I don't see the use for it. I've only used a bird trap every once in a while, just so I can get eggs. And, oh yeah, once I head back home, uh, we'll have the eggs. Uh, the ones I left there, so they're going to be spoiled. They're turned into rotten eggs, which I can use to, you know, make gunpowder. That's the first time I made gunpowder. And I think the only other way, I mean, the only other situation which I've actually had gunpowder in my inventory was when I picked it up in the underground. I think it was one from a chest. So yeah, I think, okay, so, just so you guys know the future of this little um, session I have here, um, we're just going to keep surviving, running around, maybe we can find the adventure portal, if we don't, then hey, we're going to keep surviving until winter, and just gather enough stuff, make like a crap ton of jerky if we can, and I think we are going to go to the underground once again, and kill the boss, yes, okay, yeah, that, that'll be my goal, we're going to kill the freaking thumb boss. I don't know what it's called. Uh, Ruins boss. Ruins boss, I think is what it is. He drops a huge test, which is pretty nice. I did fight him as the other guy, which is horrible, though. Four rot. There's a random skeleton. Uh, there's a random thing here. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this guy. Boom. Boom. Two hits, dead. Eating this will put down one sanity. Hold on, we'll drop this here. Crap. I really wanna see what's in that chest, but I don't want these guys to hit me. So we're gonna play super safe. Drop all the stuff. Um, okay, let's just check what's in here first before knocking that thing down. Whoa, blueprints! Oh my god! I was just talking about blueprints and rod, perfect. Birdcage, blueprint, I already know it. A rope, blueprint. 
I already know it, but it also puts up her sanity. It's pretty nice. Dark Sword Blueprint and Umbrella Blueprint. Pretty nice, pretty awesome. See? Blueprints. I freaking talk about it and it just pops up. I hear puppies. Hopefully it's the fire one so we can just get them out of the way already. Look how much rot we've picked up already though. It's amazing. Uh, let's see. So they're about to come and fight. That's fine. Seriously, is there anything I can drop? I think we'll actually wait here for them to pop up and we'll kill them. Because uh, there seems to be nothing else around me. And uh, this will spoil, so this will effectively make another inventory space so we can pick up the uh, frog legs. You know what? No, no. We're going to make fire right now. Eat the frog legs. Yeah. We'll cook the frog legs and eat it. I'm still waiting for the puppies to pop up. There they are. All right, let's do it. There's a fire one. All right, I got my inventory ready to go. Let's do this. One, two. Two hits and they died. And they seem to be burning the other puppy. This is like four. Okay, two hits. No problem. Two hits each. No. Three. Four. I think uh, the fire ones are just played weaker. Ow. Alright, we're able to take them all out. And, uh, holy crap. Oh my god, what do you want? Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh. Okay. We did it, though. We did it. Everything good to go. Crap. All right. Um, let's stay here the night. Let's just stay the night. I'm gonna use this for fuel. We're good. Um, going here. Okay, so we have 30 rot. Amazing. Actually, we'll cook all this and leave. We don't need to stay here. So, okay, not bad. Not bad. So these, um, they should drop something. They should drop something. I've never killed them before, so let's test it out. Stupid, get over here. God dang it, mosquitoes. <laughs> ah, Alright, let's go. I really don't want to stay in here. The longer you stay in this area, the, um, your sanity goes down. So I think we're pretty much done. Unless we find another thing to check upon. But yeah, that's the first time I found blueprints since they added it. No, I think I found it before, but it was like a really long time ago. Um, they say there are penguins here, but there's not going to be any. So we do have the walking stick. We should be able to walk all the way to the right. So just go pure right, and I think we might stay here again. Make use of the trees we got there. So perfect. This was a nice little find. Um, so our inventory is getting extremely packed. Do I really want to go home just yet? I have a lot of rot, and... Okay, you know what? Let's do it. I have a lot of rot. We should just travel all the way home and uh, fertilize everything I got. That's good. That's good. And we should probably... Okay. Um, we have the ice box, and we also have the uh, you know potential for a lot of hits with the bounce with the hounds my ugh, the hounds bite me. So let's see how how am I supposed to get home? What's the fastest way? There we go. That's the fastest way. Okay. So okay, where am I? Down. Hit that thing and go all the way left. Okay. So this might not be the best time. Oh crap! Like we're already here. I want to actually get a lot of meat and seeds no no yeah yeah okay we're, we're good we're gonna kill a lot of tall birds right now so we can um you know grab the jerky and then actually um get more to uh ah so we're gonna ride that rid it ah, dry it out what am i talking about when you, when you play this game for a little too long or any game and you and you you're like you have to talk for the whole time your mind just wanders and sometimes you just run out of things to say that that just happened with me out of the way Alrighty, let's do this. We're gonna eat all these. Alright, so we got enough. So we have enough food to make ourselves really strong for the battle coming up with all the tall birds. We're good to go. Um, and, okay, we're not gonna be able to... Where did my egg go? My god, I thought I lost you again. Never again. Oh my god, it's horrible. So yeah, I think uh, we're uh, gonna go and destroy some tall birds. We're gonna eat enough food and get rid of some items to um, make some room. Not only for all the meat I'm gonna get, but just for an egg or two so I can just pick up and eat right on the spot to keep my um, food up. Uh, so I can stay in strong mode to destroy them. So morning's popping up and uh, day 50 will be the day that uh, tall birds will rue. So let's do it. But um... Guess what? I'm going to have to end the episode. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps so much. And if you haven't already, 
hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos and it's free. Why not? It really helps me. And if you really want to help my channel grow, please share with your friends by posting on your Facebook, your Twitter, your, tw your, Twitter, your StumbleUpon, your Google Plus because that is a thing now. And please um, keep leaving your comments. I love reading them all and your tips. It's fun to see what I don't know. So thanks for being here and I will see you guys next time. These tall birds are just going to die.